Hi, I'm Sadie Nardini, founder of Core Strength Vinyasa Yoga. I've received some requests to do yoga for postnatal, people who have just had a baby. This is a great sequence if you're kind of getting back in shape, especially in the middle area and the pelvic floor uh, for anyone, but especially powerful after you've just had a baby because your body has changed and so you're going to get to see it realign a little bit more than usual, which is a great thing. So to begin, come here into easy seat and work on lifting your pelvic floor like a Kegel exercise. So you're going to squeeze the soft muscles down there between the sitting bones, pubic bone in the front, tailbone in the back. Just take a nice lift. You want to keep that toned the whole time you're practicing here and it's going to end up strengthening the pelvic floor and a lot of other stuff that uh, is going to be good to be toned. So lifting up nice and tall, place your hands on your knees. My favorite cat cow, inhale, offering the heart because you get a nice little stretch here and then exhale rounding in so you get a contraction and begin to work the core. Inhale, maybe not a huge stretch at first, but just kind of take it where you can take it. Inhaling and exhaling and then begin to circle. So you'll inhale forward and exhale back. Inhaling forward and exhaling back. You're just training your abdominal muscles, low back and back again to come back to center. Exhaling, exhaling. Remember to keep the pelvic floor lifting. That's the toughest part for me. And you can reverse that a couple more times. You'll do all of this for as long as you wish. I'm going to go a little faster. When you're done, bring your feet out, separate them, and you're going to be on the balls of your feet here. So you just reach out. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, just a little lean back as you bring fists into the side waist. Inhale, offering. Exhale. It's going to strengthen your hips, kind of closing down the hips a little bit from childbirth. And exhale, drawing in, strengthening the core. Inhale, reach. And exhale. Good. Do that a few times and then come here into a supported Navasana. So often the abdominal muscles just feel like you don't have any anymore. But you do. You just have to build them. So we're going to reach forward, not leaning back so far yet, in time do that, but just start maybe an inch or two back. And you're going to lift the right leg and then exhale it down. Lift the left leg and exhale it down. Do that for a little while and exhale it down. Good. Then hang on to your shins and inhale, reach through your legs. Exhale, just drawing into the navel. Inhale. Exhale, inhaling, so it's like a wave arching through and then exhale, drawing back in. A few times there. When you're finished, you're going to cross your legs, come onto your knees, and come up. So from here, we're going to inhale and exhale, lean back, bring your hands to your heart, and just start waving from side to side, right? reaching forward and lifting back up. Reaching forward and lifting back up. Great for the front thighs. Inhaling here and exhale. So seen from the front, you got a nice abdominal work going on. You can really just kind of move from side to side, taking that nice little wave and then coming up. Maybe just do 10 of those because it's quite intensive. Over time, you lean back a little farther and come up. Good. Inhale and exhale. And when you're finished there, Plant your hands on the floor, move your knees back, cat-cow, inhale, arching the spine, exhale, rounding in, like this, inhale, arching, exhale, it's an awesome center body toner to do this, inhale, exhale, and over time I want you to add inhaling, lifting the right leg, arching, exhale, draw the knee in, inhale, so increasing the body strengthening ability of this moment. Inhale here. Exhale. Over time, add the opposite arm. So it's right leg, left arm reaching. Exhale. Draw fists in. So really strong. Fists of fire there. Exhale. Nice and detoxing too. So you can get some oxygen in there. Gets the heart rate up. Burns a lot of fat. Exhale. Bring your knees down and switch to the other side. Inhale, cat-cow. Exhale. Do that a few times. Over time, add that left leg in. 
Exhale, rounding in. That's a really strong moment. Inhale. Exhale. I want you to pad a, a little mat or a towel or blanket underneath your knees if needed. Good. And then over time, you're going to add in that right leg lifting. Try to keep your toes turned down back there so you get a nice yoga booty too. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale, lift and exhale. Good. And from here, come back to center. A few more cat-cows if you wish. And then we're going to take a nice side waist strengthener. So you can come up on your front fingertips, reach your left arm through underneath the right arm, and twist. Breathing here. Really try to reach for it. Inhaling and exhaling. Good. Come back to center. Do it on the other side. A few breaths. and then come back to center. Now we're going to extend out into plank pose. So plank pose here. Really reach through the heels. We're going to inhale here and exhale, place the knees down. Inhale, exhale. Keep the navel lifting. Inhale and exhale. This time inhale, lift and exhale, reach back into downward facing dog. I'm going to scoot onto this mat so you can see more. All right, so from downward dog, lifting through your belly, inhale, wave it forward plank. Exhale, back to dog pose, descend the heels. Inhale, forward plank. Exhale. Now plank is really challenging for you right now. You'll inhale, forward plank, put the knees down, but keep your navel lifted. Exhale, lift with the belly, downward dog. Take a few pulses on each side with one leg lifting, toes turning down. One leg lifting, toes turning down. Just getting that back body nice and strong too. Place it down. Inhale, forward plank pose. Place the knees down for starters until you can really keep your belly lifting and the heart open. And exhale, bend your elbows a little bit right over your wrists. Inhale here and exhale, back up. Inhale here, exhale, half chaturanga dandasana. Good, inhale. Exhale back up. Four part breath. Inhale here. Keep those elbows right over the wrist so you have good arm alignment. Inhale. So you're really drawing up with the belly. Good. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale up. Over time you're going to do that with the knees lifted. Over time. So don't rush it. You're going to inhale here. Exhale lower down a little. Inhale and pulling up with the navel downward facing dog. Inhale, wave forward. Exhale down just a little. Inhale here. Exhale all the way back up. Just a few times. That's intensive. Make your arms look great. Great on the core and the legs. But do it at your own pace. Bring your knees down if you need to. And make a creative sequence out of that.